Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Core. Today I'm going to be reading for the collective. This is for all star signs. All I ask is that you don't wish any negativity upon anybody, please. Only positivity. Only positivity. <laughs> Because karma is a bee and it will end up coming back on me, my loves. It is so good to be back. I've had a bit of a, yeah, an emotional, emotional week. Well, emotional two weeks. We got some um, bad news in our family, in my family. And um, we've just been sticking around that person who got their bad news and coming together as a family, because that's what you do, isn't it? Um, but yeah, positive uh, vibes all around, I think. So let's get started, my loves. Let me just put my lighter up there. And that candle's just gone out. That candle's just gone out. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm back. I just have to relight the candle. That was strange. Okay. Everybody's mowing their lawns today. I'm going to be doing mine this afternoon. So if you hear a lot of mowing of lawns, all my neighbours are doing their lawns and I had to get this done, otherwise I won't do it. Have guided messages for the collective, please. Have guided messages for my collective, please. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your patience and understanding during my week off. I'm getting a lot of messages intuitively. I'm seeing A masculine, it could be a feminine, but I'm seeing a male. Um, sat on a corner sofa. It's like I feel this sofa is like I'm sat here, but this sofa also goes like that. Like I feel I'm sat here, and then the sofa goes round like that. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. And I'm constantly watching you. I'm constantly looking at my phone, looking at you online. And I can't help it. This is, this is what I feel I'm doing. I feel like I'm a masculine checking up on a feminine, the collective, one of my spiritual family members. <clears throat> Six of air, night of earth. Page of Earth. Here he is. An Ace of Fire. Ace of Wands. There. This um this this masculine's been looking at you for a while and has been checking you out and seeing what you've been up to, see seeing what you're doing, and I feel like this this masculine's like, right, okay, I've held back for long enough, I need to come forward. Because I feel like this person has... It's almost this, I, I've just got this, like, feeling that... I was scared, but the reason why I was scared is because I didn't feel good enough. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel good enough. That's what, that's what I feel. Like, I'm feeling like there's like an age gap or maybe you're more established, more settled than this person is. Yeah. This fact is in place. <clears throat> right, sorry lovelies, I don't know. Universe. Okay. The Empress. Justice. Balance. 
I don't know where I ended up. I've literally been on the phone for two hours. Oh my God, no, two and a half hours. Whoa. Um, trying to sort some stuff out. Um, okay. So I don't know where I ended up. I do remember that I was talking about a masculine who was gonna come in, or I was about to say it, but I just remembered, um, about this masculine who is gonna come in with communication. This guy is holding up a letter. He's like, look, I've got a letter for you. And he's all up in his emotions. He's been studying you. He's been preparing. He's coming in very cheerful, very uplifted, all in his feels because he has a lot of intense feelings for you and he wants to tell you exactly how he feels. Look at that face. Collective. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna bring in communication. He's gonna open these lines of communication and um, tell you how he's feeling because he's very lustful. You know, he sees an opportunity here. He sees a future with you and he wants to come in and tell you exactly how he's feeling. He's taking action. And he's gonna tell you exactly how he feels. And I feel like for you, you and this person has been in hermit mode you've been holding back from each other even though you do have these intense feelings for each other you've been working on yourselves you've been putting that extra effort in and work in your home life doing your home up working on your home i'm seeing a lot of a lot of people doing like painting like decorating yeah, changing the colour in certain rooms in your house. Like say if your bedroom was like a <clears throat> like a grey colour I'm picking up, you've changed changed it to like a, a nice warmer colour. So I'm getting like um like lavenders and like like a warm yellow. It's not a bright yellow, it's a warm yellow I'm picking up. Hmm like creamy colour, but it's such a, a warm, uplifting colour. Working in your garden, out walking. I've been walking so much lately, so much. Like, it's unbelievable the amount of walking I've been doing. <laughs> doing a lot of walking um, with the doggies and then um, been sat on the beach where I live. And I've met some really, really incredible people by doing it. You've been working on yourselves, working on healing those inner wounds that have <clears throat> held you back in life. You're becoming this empress. And because this masculine has been doing exactly what you've been doing, he's leveling up too. Because he's gone from the page of earth to the king of earth. Hello, Mr. King. <sighs> this is who everybody wants to be with. He's so grounded. He's so nurturing. Everybody wants to spend time with this king because he's so loving. He's so generous. He's very successful. This is earth energy. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This, this person's gonna come in and you're almost gonna feel like this person's love bombing you. That's what I'm feeling. You're like, whoa. All right, Mr. Romantical. <laughs> Calm yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you're feeling this is a love bombing energy, but he's just being himself. He is very loving. He is very nurturing and that's, him just expressing himself that might be his love language you know and this king of earth yeah he's moving towards you he's heading down this whole new path and he doesn't know where it's going to lead on well, this empress please but he's willing to do whatever it takes to come towards you because he does have intense feelings for you this person has been watching you online they see how amazing you are 
they've seen what you've gone through. They've seen what you've gone through. This Empress again. Yeah, they've seen, they've seen, this, this king has seen what struggles you've gone through. The Empress again. In reverse. And again. You're very intuitive. You're coming in as the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. So you're going from the Ace of Wands to the Queen. Wow. You're leveling up on so many levels. <clears throat> You've got a lot of clarity, not just from this person, but from many aspects of your life. Maybe you've lost a lot of friends, work colleagues. There's a lot of people in your life that have just like disappeared. And at the start, you thought, my God, I've lost all these people. These people were my friends. These people were people that I truly loved. But when these people went out of your life, you realized how karmic these people were, how much these people were holding you back. And it's like from the moment all these people disappeared, your life changed and your life started to grow and it started to flourish and you you started to open all these new doors up and realise where you wanted to go in life. You started putting yourself first. You started listening to your gut, following what made you happy and a lot of people around you didn't like that. Bugger them. That's what I say. Bugger them. I've got the queen as well. Wow. Oh my god. This person is so up in their feels for you. You two are mirroring each other because I've got the king and the queen of earth. You two are feeling very nostalgic with each other. It's like you feel at peace. You have this equal understanding. I just feel like, it's like, I don't know, it's like somebody just has your heart. It's like, whenever I think of love, I think of you. Whenever I'm happiest, it's with you. That's what I'm feeling. You're both gonna be really, really vulnerable with each other. There's definitely an age difference here. But you're both going to be vulnerable. You're both going to do very small, maybe big, um, gestures of love to show each other how you truly feel, to show each other how you care, to show each other that you're showing up no matter what. Even through the hard times. <clears throat> <clears throat> This six of air. This person is is leaving everything they once knew to head towards you. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. <clears throat> there might be reasons why you two held back from each other. So say if, because I've got justice here. So say if there was um, one of you had to um, separate from somebody or you were going through a divorce or ending a contract in work or I'm feeling like there's a there's like a contract in place that I have to work through until I'm able to head forth to you. Why am I rhyming? <laughs> Miss Justice, please. Oh, that came out strong. You two are willing to do whatever, whatever you can to make this work. At one point, yes, you were both scared because you didn't know what was going to happen once you headed towards each other. 
What is there going to be conflict? Is what is what going to happen? Is I can't talk. I can't talk. Is oh my god! Why can't I say that? I don't want to happen what happened before. So say if you've like been in relationships where it's just like all gone wrong, you were so scared that that was going to happen again. That's what I'm trying to say. That was hard. But you've you've got a lot of faith within each other, a lot of faith within each other, and even though like yes, there might be something, you might be thinking of the if buts and all that stuff. But I feel like once this communication came forward, once you not proved that you were there for each other, but it was like you might be speaking the words, but you needed to prove your actions. That's what I'm feeling. You did. Your actions spoke really, really loud because I've got action card here. And um, yeah, you kind of like proved yourself. I am this empress. I'm not just saying, I'm the empress. Yeah, I am. Honest. I'm this empress. Like, no, you proved it. Yeah. Because I've got two action cards. But I've also got a woman here that is very, very nurturing very very grounded she's the queen of all queens she's very stable very fertile very abundant and once she's in love she'll do anything for that love <laughs> it's beautiful right let us get the romance Oh, a load of cards just fell on the floor. <laughs> they told me to take these cards. What? I didn't even shuffle though. They've just took... Okay, I've just been told to look at the bottom of the cards and the bottom card is says, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations, visualizations help bring you two together. Um, yeah, you've been manifesting each other in because you've been watching each other online. So thinking about somebody is sending that person a message and that message is that I want you playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine look how much she's looking at him if you can't see it i'll put a picture up here or here on this ruby here mm -hmm. she's looking at him like oh, i'm so in awe of you oh my god <laughs> stay optimistic about your love life Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Take the time to really All I'm seeing is that two people are totally consumed by each other. Appreciate those moments together, even the smallest of times. It could be just sitting down watching TV together. Really show each other that you care, show each other that you're there, show each other that you're turning up. Because those are the moments that are gonna mean the most to you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all my loves. Let's get a chakra card. Can I have a chakra card for the collective, please? Can I have a chakra card for the collective? Can I have a chakra card for the collective? Can I have a chakra card for the collective? Okay. 
And another one. Did you just say? I have a shocker card. I can feel it. Mm, I can feel the pull. It's close. You two are coming together. You know how much you want each other. You instinctively know how much your love and trust wants you and you know how much you want them. And you've doubted it because you've been in this hermit mode, but really your instincts are telling you exactly truly what is going on. Even though you not, may not be talking in this realm, intuition, into, in, in, Subconsciously, you're talking to each other. In dreams, you're talking to each other. Am I talking today? Sacral chakra. Water element instinct. I allow my senses to fully experience the physical world and trust my instincts. I connect my deepest sense of self for balance, guidance, and truth. I release all fears and listen to the wisdoms of my ancestors. Through the resonance of my body, I sense physical body, and this is root chakra, earth element. I celebrate my physical body and recognize it as a wondrous vessel through which I see, hear, touch, smell, and taste. I connect fully with my physical existence on this earthly plane. I breathe life force into my body and nourish it with good food. I love and accept my body. I exist. Wow. Um, they're asking me to... I don't know where their ones are though. Did I take them out? Um, they're not here. Oh no, they're there. I haven't done those in a while. The fairy or oracle messages for the collector. Fairy oracle messages. Ask your fairies for protection. I just heard. The two of wands is trying to come out. Uh, lost and found what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy sometimes she can help us find things that we never even realize were lost you two are coming together and it's going to bring a lot of contentment a lot of happiness a lot of fulfillment into each other's lives it's the end of one situation and the rebirth of another, opening a whole new door. And you're fin finally going to be able to sleep properly at night because of it. Just because of communication. Communication has so much impact on all our relationships, whether it's love relationships, whether it's family relationships. You know, whether it's work relationships, if people aren't communicating properly, so many things break down. If you communicate, then any relationship will be successful. Communication is key. I hope this gave you the clarity and understanding that you needed on your Situation Collective. Thank you for your love and support my channel. It truly means the world to me. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journey. I'll see you in the... Oh, the, the I'll see you next time, my loves. Bye. Bye, lovelies.